welcome back to Let's Talk Tech, brought to you by Signwave Technologies. In today's video, we're going to talk about binary conversion with IP addresses. In our last video, we talked about IP addresses and the two versions. For a quick recap, an Internet Protocol Address, or IP address, is a unique address that identifies a device on the Internet or a local network. This is how our devices are able to connect and interact online. There are two versions, IP version 4 and IP version 6. IPv4 was the first version available and uses a 32-bit address, whereas IPv6 uses a 128-bit address and includes both letters and numbers. The form you are currently looking at follows our standard numeric format, which is 0 through 9. However, our computers don't read IP addresses in this format, they read it in binary. Let's take a look at this format and learn how our computers convert our IP addresses in both versions. In order to function, your computer needs information that will tell it what to do. This digital information or data is referred to as bits or binary digits. Binary is a numbering system in which there are only two possible values or states for each digit, one and zero, or on and off. Whenever you see a one, think of this as switching that bit on. This also means that zero would be off. For the sake of our last video, we will discuss how to convert a decimal IP address to its binary form, and we'll use the same IPv4 address for this example. IPv4 uses four sets of eight binary bits, and these sets are called octets. Each bit in the octet is represented by a number. We will use this 8-bit octet chart in order to convert the IP addresses into binary. Starting from the left, the first bit has a value of 128, 64, 32, and so on. Each bit on the octet can either be a 1 or a 0. If the bit has a 1, then the number it represents is being used, therefore marking it on. Let's look at the first octet of this IP address, 172. Looking at our octet chart, we will put ones under the numbers that will add up to a total of 172, starting with the highest. First, we can put a one under 128. Next, a one under 32, then eight and four. Now, if you add all the numbers that we have ones underneath, it adds up to a total of 172. All of the other bits will be zeros because they're not being used, meaning they're off. This number is the binary bit version of 172. Let's do another one together. The next octet is 16. We will put a one under the number 16. Because our sum is already 16, we're done and we can put zeros under the remaining bits. This number is the binary bit version of 16. The next one would be a one under 128, one under 64, one under 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2. If we add all those numbers up, we get 254 and we're done. Let's put a zero under one, and this is our binary bit version of 254. Lastly, one's binary bit would be this, making our final address to be this, an address that is 32 bits long. Before we end the video, I wanna briefly show you one more example in IP version six, just to make sure we fully understand. For this version, we will be using a new chart because unlike IPv4, a 32-bit numerical address, IPv6 is a 128-bit hexadecimal address, meaning it uses both numbers and alphabets. In this example, we will look at an IPv6 address in its binary form and will convert it to its hexadecimal address using this chart. To begin, you must know that each hexadecimal character represents four bits. So starting from the beginning, we will convert the first four bits into their hexadecimal form. 0010 laid out has a one underneath the two, making two our first hexadecimal character in this IPv6 address. Because there are no ones in the next eight bits, the next two hexadecimal characters are zero. The next four bits, 0001 will be a 1 because there is a 1 under the 1 slot. The next would be a 0 again because no bits are being used. For this next one, 1101, we have a 1 under the 8, 4, and 1. 
This adds up to be 13, but the problem is you cannot use double digit numbers in a hexadecimal format. In this format, double digits are represented as a single alphabet. Therefore, we have to use a new chart for any four bits that add up to a sum of 10 or higher. For digits 10 or higher, the chart starts over and begins with A through F. These four bits are going to be represented as D because the sum is 13. Let's do one more together for good measure. 1011 has a sum of 11. Remember, anything higher than 9 is a letter. 10 would be A and 11 is B, making our next hexadecimal character B. Here is this binary IPv6 address written in its final hexadecimal form. Well, that's all for today's video. If you've enjoyed this series so far and want to learn more about technology, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified about our next video. If you have any further questions or just want to follow along to learn more tech, check out our social media linked below in the description or take a look at our website at sinewavetech.com. I hope you all have a great weekend and I will see you next week on Let's Talk Tech.